Good morning, everyone. So today I just wanted to do a quick, really quick tutorial. Um, this is called single node composite mode. And this is a new feature that started in DaVinci 18.5. And I, giving credit where credit is due, I saw another uh, colorist uh, tutorial that, uh, that explained this. And I thought it was really, really helpful. His name is Cullen Kelly. He is a professional colorist and uh, I've learned a lot from him but I just wanted to grab this one little bit here and share it with you as well because I've been trying it out myself and I think it's a really really great thing to understand okay so here it is so so I downloaded a piece of stock footage from motion array and it's a very colorful explosion of these different colored powders and so what I want to do with this is I want to add some contrast to this because I feel like it, it looks pretty good but I'd love to push this look maybe a little bit further. So I have the vector scope up. You can already see it's pretty rich in color, but watch what happens as soon as we start to add contrast. The color just gets nuked, right? It just starts to go nuclear. I mean, look at that. It's just, you can even see it on the scope. So if you watch the scopes, and I'm using this for exaggeration, but you can see what's happening. It's just blowing out, right? And we obviously don't want that because that looks very unnatural. It just looks, uh, yeah, it doesn't look right. So how do we fix that? Well, you could look at that and go, oh, we've got too much color. I should probably pull the saturation back. And you could do that, but that doesn't look right either. It starts to, it just changes the feel. So let's reset the saturation. And let's reset our contrast. So let's, again, let's push our contrast up to where about where we want it. Let's say we just right there. Feel like, okay, that's a little bit better. So in DaVinci Resolve 18.5, we have this new uh, feature where you can use a composite mode on a single node without having to do a parallel node or an actual composite node. So here's what I mean. So if we go to this node where we've made our contrast adjustment and we right click and we go all the way down here to composite mode. And then if we come down here, you have all of your transfer modes that you would normally see in, in layers. Like if you're an After Effects user, you'll recognize this. But what we're gonna do is we can use this to get the contrast we want without changing the color saturation. If we come here, composite mode, and we go all the way down to luminosity, all of a sudden, I don't know if you saw that, but our color returned to the way it was before we added the contrast curve. So the color saturation over here, as you can see, is not changing. All we've changed is we've added our contrast that we wanted. And so now we could even take this down a little bit, take our offset down a little bit, and sort of retool this. We could bring our highlights down. We could do a lot of different things with our contrast and the depth, but look at what's happened. The color remains the same. And so again, it's a really quick tip. Right click on the node, composite mode, and in this case, luminosity. I would encourage you too to try out some of these different modes and again for different applications. But I thought this one was really, really helpful for adding contrast and punch to an image without compromising the original color saturations. Okay, that's going to do it. That was a quick one. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.